Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing another Australian taste test. So let's get started. Iced Bobo ice cream. I absolutely love the biscuits, the cookies, but will the ice cream be any good? The biscuits and coconut flavoured swirls with raspberry syrup and sweet biscuit pieces. Oh! Oh, there's a lid on it. <gasps> it's a lovely pink colour and it does remind me of Ice Bobo's just by the colour of it. It actually smells exactly like an ice bobo. You're probably wondering why it's called an ice bobo. It's a little bit of an adorable name, isn't it? I don't know why. Because they're iced and um, what's a bobo anyway? <laughs> oh. Wow. Honestly, well done on getting the flavours of an ice bobo into ice cream. I can taste raspberry and coconut. It's just a coconut flavour in there. I'm glad that there isn't actually pieces of coconut in here because I don't like it when there's bits in my ice cream. Texture wise, coconut wouldn't have worked. There's tiny little bits of cookie in here as well. It's crazy, it actually does taste like an ice bobo in ice cream, but does it work? I don't really think so. I love it as a biscuit, but I'm not really enjoying it as an ice cream, ironically. Mm. Actually, I don't mind it on the second spoonful. I'm not really sure if this one works. Let me know if you've tried this one in the comments below. No, see, it's just messing with my head. Charlie Strawberry White Chocolate. It says it's loved by mums and dads and nanas and grandkids and lots of little kids. They could have just said everyone in the family. What's interesting about this is that some people call this stuff licorice. I actually think it's debatable whether this is licorice, but it's with white chocolate, which some people say white chocolate isn't real chocolate. Have a look. It looks very pretty. Does that look good to you? Oh. Oh my god, so sweet. I quite like the flavour of the strawberry licorice. It's not too weird and fake, it's not too rubbery either. The white chocolate inside is pretty good too. White chocolate and strawberry is a good flavour combination. It actually is okay, but super sweet. I couldn't have too much of it. And then I go back for more. Arnett's Pizza Shapes, and these are the one of the most popular shapes in Australia. I've never been a fan of the pizza ones, but I haven't actually tried them since I was about 10 years old. I had a black experience. I didn't vomit. <laughs> Sorry. I just had a yucky taste test experience with them, and I've never returned. But today is the day, and I might change my mind. Okay, they come in a little foil bag inside. They don't smell the same as they used to, I'm sure of it. I'll give you a quick look. There they are. As you see, it's got this little flavour topping on there. I think it used to have green bits on here, but they're gone. Which is good, because I was never a fan of the green bits. I didn't understand what they were. They weren't origamo. Origamo is that folded Japanese paper art. <laughs> they weren't oregano, oregano. They're nicer than I remembered. Predominantly you can taste cheese and tomato-y sort of taste to it. Yeah, before I sort of thought they tasted a bit weird and fake. They're not that bad. Quite a nice savoury biscuit. I've been avoiding these for years. Why? Sometimes I like to hunt down the more burnt ones in the packet. You can see that one's got a bit more colour on it and I like that. Mmm. Shapes come in a wide variety of flavours. This one's probably one of the most popular ones and it's pretty nice. Arnott's Caramel Crowns and I've included these because everyone talks about Arnott's Tim Tams like that's what we live for in Australia. Arnott's actually make a huge variety of biscuits. Tim Tams aren't necessarily everyone's favourite. These ones are Caramel Crowns and they are super sweet. I haven't had them for years. Oh, oh, they're not as big as I remembered. You get older and everything shrinks. So this is what they look like. They're beautiful little chocolate covered biscuits. Oh my gosh. Mmm. So as you can see, it's got this beautiful flowing caramel in it. It's coated with chocolate. And then it's got this lovely cookie biscuit on the bottom there, which I think is more of a chocolatey sort of flavored biscuit. I love that they don't really tell you what it is on the packaging. That's just how we roll in Australia. It probably does tell me ingredients. Delicious biscuit, gooey caramel, and Arnott's real chocolate. See, that doesn't tell me if they're vanilla biscuits or chocolate biscuits, if I wanted to know. You can actually see on the cover there, it's more like a chocolatey biscuit. Very, very rich. Absolutely beautiful. Love them. 
This is a Smith's limited edition summer barbecue flavour and this one is sweet and sticky barbecue ribs. Don't understand how they get the flavour of ribs into chips but we're about to find out. The cover does make it look very tempting. There they are. Got like an orangey tinge to the chips themselves. Mmm, they're salty but they've also got a big whack of sweet in there as well. They're crispy, they're salty, they're a little bit sweet and they have a lovely smoky barbecue flavour in them. But they're only limited edition so enjoy them while you can. Alan's Retro Party Mix and I got this because Alan's is our most popular sweets handy here in Australia. The Retro Mix is going to have all sorts of stuff that we used to like back in the day, back in my day. I had a day apparently. So best way to do this is like this. So this is the mixture you get inside. What's this? I've never seen this before in my life. It's a retro thing and I've never seen it. I don't know when this became a retro favourite because I don't even know what that is. No, oh, what is it? It's a person. It's a dude with an afro, I think. So retro, they're giving him an afro like back in the 70s. Okay, I get it, I get it. Let's try him. He's very yummy. He's an orange flavoured gummy candy. He's really soft and juicy and flavoursome. It also includes cola bottles which are gummy candies that are cola flavour. I think cola bottles are all around the world or am I wrong? Cola bottles are actually one of my favourite candies. We've got milk bottles as well which are like a creamy gummy candy that tastes well milky. Surprise surprise. Pineapples. Never been a huge fan of those. I think I've shown you those before. Let's not look at it. Little Lips. These are raspberry flavoured and then you've got these raspberries as well which are so guess what? They're raspberry flavour. You've got gummy racing cars and you've also got these little honey bears which are a gummy candy that have a little bit of a honey taste to them. I really love these ones. Mmm. And of course gummy teeth which are a milky flavour as well. They've got a little bit of a mint taste to them and they look so attractive. Oh gosh, they're actually really hard to put in your mouth by the way. Oh no, this isn't working. Oh, that's attractive, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. I'm not sure if you can actually put in two at once. I've never tried it. Now's the time. Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. It's not really hard. It's not working. It's not, you've got no idea how hard it is. You ever tried it? it looks so wrong. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry I did that because I didn't want to eat them. <laughs> it's a really good mixture of gummy candies. Love them. So that's the Allen's Retro Mix. Let me know what your favourite is out of this bag. Red Rock Deli Popcorn. And this one is Maple Butter and Sea Salt. Have a look at that. It looks pretty good. It smells absolutely lovely. Oh! on with this one it really is a half and half situation here because it is half sweet and half salty i was expecting it to be more like the candy coated caramelly sort of popcorn that you get but it's not it's not get that out of your mind it's not like that at all as you can see it's not covered with sweet stuff all around it up front i can taste the maple and then bam it just goes to salt and then when you finish it it has a buttery finish and i actually quite like the flavor of it it's not what i expected but i really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching everyone i really do appreciate it and if you want to support me and my channel please remember to share this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more i'll see you next time bye i'm very attractive